y'all, Mary Kennedy here from Kennedy Fan 5 and Algebra Student. And today we're looking at constructions. Okay, uh, first things first is you're gonna hold your compass like a pencil, but you don't hold it on the pencil. So you're gonna grab the pointy part and you're gonna hold it like you would a pencil. I'm left-handed, so I don't know if that looks funny, but however you hold a pencil, that's how you want to hold it. You don't wanna use two hands that's going to make your constructions harder to do and harder to manipulate the compass itself. Um, and even though there's like a handle up here, I don't really recommend holding it by the handle, you know, hold it like a pencil on the pointy part. And I'm going to start to make an arc. Now it makes a nice little arc. So your, your pressure really needs to be on the, the pointy part of the compass. There's probably like a proper term for that. I don't know what it is. Okay. So you're pre I'm so afraid of <laughs> <laughs> stab myself all right so you're pushing out really hard on that you're barely you know just barely touching the paper with the pencil and the other thing i would say is that if you turn the paper instead of your compass your constructions are probably going to be prettier i think that's it i hope this helps let me know in the comments i would love to hear from you all right thanks bye